want to talk about how to build a Wi-Fi GPS that's totally reliable. It's quite easy and all of the software and description you will need for this is in the description below. First of all, you will need a GPS and I've selected one from Matexis. It's a quite small one, uh, not at all bad, M10, brand new. We're going to use that. And in addition, I have a fresh package here with a ESP8266 and depending on what you already have in your boat, if you have 5 volt power supply then you're good and if not you're gonna need one and for this purpose I've just made this one. This will take some power in and then provide 5 volt stable out. And I made two connections here because I'm going to power the GPS and I'm going to also power the ESP. All right. Let's start with the GPS and open the package and see what we have here. So we got a cable and some shrink wrap and a GPS. This particular GPS has two contacts. We can use whichever we want. And take particular note here that it is printed on the side. I don't know if you can see it, but what we are interested in is the ports for plus, minus, and transmit, that's TX. So in order to figure out which color is what, just plug in the cable this way. And have a look here at, so we've got five volts on this side. We've got ground here. And if we take a close look, the TX is the blue one. So you don't want all of these cables. I'm going to remove one shortly. There's no point in keeping all the cables here. Remove those you don't need. Just use a fine blade. Get it under here, and it's loose. So, then we're going to look at the ESP. These are quite cheap stuff with some connectors and a micro USB. So it's easy to plug it into a computer. We're going to put software on this one because right now, before we put software on, this isn't doing anything good at all. So that's what we're going to do later. Now, uh, for the ESP here, you will have to do some slight soldering. You only need to solder three points here. You need the 5 volt and the ground and you will need either D7 or D6. When you're going to solve this, it's super easy if you take some of these connectors and then just put in on such a breadboard. Then you can basically just put this on and it will be totally stable, really easy to solder. Now, I'm not uh, very good at soldering, to be honest, so, but um, uh, it's not pretty, uh, but it works. The main thing is to get enough solder here so there's good connection between each of these holes and the pin. So on one side I have the 5 volts and the ground. And then I did some additional ones here, but you don't really need all of them. So this one is now prepared to be used. 
Uh, when you put it in the boat, you might want to do it a little different. Like I've done here, I have a ready-made with uh, the signal in from the GPS soldered here. And then I got five volts and ground here. And then I just make some cable arrangement in a boat and I plug it in and it's ready to use. So now that I've um, removed excess cabling, I will uh, just plug it in. Like that. Uh, I get them the ground here, five volt here. And the blue one is the transmit. This one is the one we're gonna to connect to the ESP. I've kept the yellow cable, I don't need it really, but uh, if I at any point later uh, would like to program this GPS, then I would need the yellow RX connector as well. Uh, on the other end, I put on some easy connectors, uh, just doing a demo here, so it's going to be plug and play. Now let's start to wire up the GPS. I got a power supply here with a ground and 5 volt connector and the GPS here with its ground and 5 volts. So let me just plug it in. That was it. And afterwards we will then use this blue TX cable to connect that to the ESP. So let's continue with the ESP and let me have a look here. So 5 volt is this one. I'm going to take the red wire here and then we're going to take the ground there. And then finally, I'm going to put it on D6. We're going to take the blue wire from the GPS and just plug it in. And that's the total wiring job. A GPS with plus or 5 volts and ground and the signal going to the ESP and the ESP obviously also having 5 volt and ground. So that's the whole cabling job. So now that I've put software on the ESP, we are ready to do the test. So I got the ESP and the GPS here. I've got a 5 volt power supply. This one, and I'm going to connect that to a 12 volt input. And you see here, the GPS lights up and it's going to stay green until it gets a sync and then it's going to start blinking. So that's it really. Remember to get the antenna approach like that and just wait. I'm doing this inside and typically it can take quite a long time until we get a sync. So I'm going to pause the video here and start it when it starts blinking. So let's be honest here. Working inside indoors with a GPS may be a challenge. So I actually been outdoors now or rather stuck the GPS out of the window. Holding it for a minute, it's bad weather, it's housing, it's trees, and it doesn't work that well in those conditions. So uh, when you're going to test it, please uh, be outside, anywhere where you have an open sky, then the GPS will get sync much, much faster. Now for this purpose, we will use a tablet. I have installed something called the UDP terminal here. I'm going to start that. I'm going to use port 2000 
and uh, do it by broadcast same port 2000 it will then show here the receive package that will be this terminal so this tablet's um, IP address and then just start it come on and as you see here we have a Wi-Fi GPS so everything's fine now we can test it in a boat now in uh, order to put software on the ESP you obviously need uh, the ESP as I said it has a micro USB connector and I'm going to use a regular micro USB cable just plug it in so that's prepared then we're going to need our PC we're going to use a special software that's going to flash this ESP with its software this software is called Node MCU and then we're going to need the image with our software and everything is prepared and available in the link below now after you downloaded the um, archived file we need to open it and expand it so I'm gonna extract to the very same folder that I'm in and that was it and now I got this folder here and let's have a look at what we find here so what I have here is the, the firmware image the bin file this is what we're going to use as the image and we're going to push that onto our ESP by using the flasher but first we need to connect our uh, USB cable now I've plugged in my uh, USB cable and I had a look at my COM ports what I see here is that port number 22 is a USB serial port this is what we're going to use so make sure that you select the right port here or it won't work at all this one and then it's all about the config and here we can see the correct file but it's not the correct path so we need to replace something here we can do that here in the file manager just click inside and you get the path to the folder so you can copy that by control C so that's good and then we're going to replace everything up until the firmware image name ENO like this and control paste and now we got the green one so that's the correct path you don't have to do anything more here this should be as it is then we go to operation and we hit flash and then just wait for everything to finish icon got green and we're good to go now for the final setup uh, connecting the ESP to your bait boat before you start power on your bait boat uh, so the Wi-Fi echo sounder is uh, Wi-Fi is uh, available and when it is you can go into the Android settings sorry like that and then we are going to find a ESP8266AP, AP for access point. 
So we're going to select that and we're going to enter a password for this image. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and connect. So what you see here is that you still have a need to sign into the network. Uh, even after we have put in the Wi-Fi password. So we're going to do that. We're going to tap it once more. And it's going to start the uh, web interface. And now we're going to select the configure new access point up here. Because we want this ESP to connect to your onboard Wi-Fi fish finder. So tap configure. And it will list up all of the Wi-Fi networks it's going to find. So just use this button and hit next until you find your uh, Wi-Fi. I am going to connect now to my home network just for the purpose of this demonstration. So like this. So now I've entered the Wi-Fi password here and I'm going to press apply. And that's it. Now we can disconnect the power and do a test. So we started the app here and it's <coughs> in a standard mode. Uh, actually, it's set up to connect by, by TCP. Now, before you test this, make sure that the Wi Fi of your Echo Sander is powered on and that your tablet is connected to the Wi Fi. If not, it's not going to find anything, of course. So let's just do a test pushing this TCP button here. Long press it and you go straight into the connection settings. And we're not going to use TCP instead. We are going to use GPS. So that's good. The standard broadcast receive address, that's fine. Uh, that's also the case for the port. So just give it a go. Press back and you will be instantly connected. And we are. So here I am in my house. And after a while, even though the GPS was lousy at first and I had to hold the GPS out the window, at least I got a fair amount of, uh, of satellites and an HDOP, which isn't totally bad. But you can see here down that uh, the boat is going to move quite well. So, uh, as I said, test it outdoors. So that's it. Thank you.